upon this rock I will build my church. The church was founded by none other than the only begotten Son of God. To say the church is non-essential is to say that Jesus Christ is non-essential. To say the church is non-essential is to say that the life's work of Jesus Christ is non-essential. To say that the church, the church that Jesus bled and died for, purchased with his own blood, is non-essential, is to say that the crucifixion of Jesus Christ is non-essential. I cannot believe the audacity. I cannot imagine how much arrogance it must take, how tone deaf someone would have to be to say that liquor stores are essential and that marijuana dispensaries are essential and that abortion clinics are essential. And while gymnasiums with open arenas will be opened before the churches, I'm sure, playgrounds, department stores, big box stores, mechanics shops, construction businesses are more essential than the New Testament local church that Jesus bled and died for. Our church is essential for no other reason this morning than the fact that it was founded by the Son of God. He came and bled and died to purchase the church. And to say that the church is not essential is to spit in the face of God and is to spit in the face of Jesus Christ. And I'm really, to be honest with you, in shock that more Christians around this country hadn't gotten more upset than they have. I can tell you this right now. If our leaders had, 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 had done this 20 years ago, it would have lasted about five minutes. If our, if our leaders had tried this 30 years ago, they'd have had a civil war on their hand before supper. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it.